I don't know if it was a mistake, but I went after Ruth Lockhart hard because I thought she was going to crack. Yeah, so did I. I don't know, Ross. Whoever got to her has got a stronger hold on her than I thought. Well, the woman was absolutely terrified. I know that, and the jury saw it. Squish. Oh, we knew who the hell it is we're up against. the question. I'll repeat it for you. Do you think Michelle Santos meant any harm to your son, Mick? I, I don't know. Mrs. Santos, your son was murdered, wasn't he? It was an accident. It was a homicide. An unsolved homicide. But you know who killed him, don't you? I can't answer that question. You can't answer that because you know who did it, don't you? Michelle killed him, didn't she? Michelle Bauer Santos killed your son. Objection, Your Honor. Please answer the question, Mrs. Santos. Let me refresh your memory. Mrs. Santos, your son, Mick Santos, was killed. His body was found on the beach. He suffered a massive blow to the head. Is that correct? Yes. Did Michelle Bauer Santos kill your son? <clears throat> Don't look at your son and your daughter-in-law, Mrs. Santos. Just look at me and answer the question, yes or no. Did the defendant, <clears throat> Michelle Bauer Santos, kill your son? He was my firstborn. My baby. He died alone. Maybe in pain. They said that he didn't die right away. I think about... I think about it all the time. What his last moments must have been like. If... If he called out to me. And I couldn't. Do you know who killed your son, Mrs. Santos? This is not fair. Don't ask me any more questions about my son, please. Mrs. Santos, you are under oath. And I am going to ask you for the last time to tell this courtroom the truth. Did the defendant, Michelle Bauer Santos, kill your son? Yes, yes, she did. May we please have a short recess so I can speak with my client? All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, at this time we'll take a 15-minute recess. Is there any truth to this at all? Sorry, she, she was badgering me up there. I had to answer those questions. I'm, Michelle, Michelle, I'm so sorry. I'm but I don't know. I don't know, Danny. I'm sorry. Do you have any idea what you have done? Why didn't you tell me well, about this? I could have prepared for I it. didn't know that it was going to come out. I didn't think it would. It was an accident. It was self-defense. He attacked me. I mean, I didn't even know. 
It was an accident, Ross. It was an okay, accident. Okay, all right. It was an accident. But if we don't convince this jury of that, we're that much closer to a conviction. Now, is there somebody, anybody, who knows what actually happened that night? gentlemen of the jury, the testimony you have heard from Mrs. Carmen Santos is to be disregarded by you. It will be stricken from the record and you must not allow it to have any bearing on this case. The jury is further instructed that there is no corroborating proof of what Mrs. Santos alleged regarding the defendant and you must therefore ignore it completely. There is proof. <laughs> Something I'd like to add to the record about this. I was there. Order, order in the court. My name is Drew Jacobs, and I can testify to what happened to Miss Santos because I was there. Your Honor, this is highly irregular. Uh, Your Honor, in light of what has happened to my client today, I hope that you will listen to the testimony of this young woman. I think it's very important that the jury hear. Mrs. Santos, you may step down. <laughs> Bailiff, swear in Mrs. Jacobs. Ms. Jacobs, the court will hear your testimony. <laughs> 